You're watching HuffPost Live. I'm Nancy Red, and same-sex marriage has been a polarizing issue in the black community for quite some time, especially in the church. But recently, we've seen some modern ministers breaking the cycle, and joining me to talk about the plethora of pastors showing their support for gay marriage, we have in our Google Hangout, Reverend Ralph Martino, who's the pastor of First Church of Christ Holiness in Washington, D.C., Onika LaBennett, Associate Professor of Women's Studies, African Studies, and African American Studies. We, she's at Fordham University, and we're also fortunate enough to have HuffPost commenter Lawrence Watford, a filmmaker and creator of Mansitioning.com. And rounding out our Google Hangout, we have Reverend Delman Coates, Senior Pastor of the Mount Innan Baptist Church in Clinton, Maryland. Thank you, everyone, for joining me today. Reverend Coach, this is such a shift. Why do you think more and more African American pastors are coming around and thinking uh, and being supportive of same sex marriage? Well, I think more pastors are coming around to supporting the issue of marriage equality because they understand that in a free pluralistic society, that it is uh, very dangerous to legislate your personal religious views. That, that in our society, people have the freedom of and freedom from religion which means that uh, you have the right to your theological and biblical convictions. But in a pluralistic society, <clears throat> you're not able to force your theological convictions on others in matters of public policy. And this is fundamentally a public policy issue. And so the, the question ought to be asked, should every citizen of our country, do, do they deserve equal treatment under the law? Mm -hmm. That's what this issue is about. The issue is not what do you personally believe about uh, homosexuality or same-sex marriage? But does every citizen deserve to be treated equally under the law? And African-American pastors understand uh, the history and the legacy of legislating based upon people's theological beliefs. This is a very dangerous direction uh, to begin to, to legislate your view of the one person's view of the Bible, because where does it end? Those are excellent points. And, and, and the only thing I would add is that um, if if we're seeing an increase in uh, the support from uh, black pastors for marriage equality, that increase in support is really uh, in step with uh, the broader spectrum of African-Americans. Uh, Pew Research Center polls show that uh, black opposition to gay marriage fell from 67 percent in 2004 to 49 percent this past April. So that's a huge shift. There's a huge generational shift across all Americans of all races, all religious groups and all uh, political parties. Increasingly, most Americans support gay marriage and especially Americans between the ages and 15 between the ages of 15 to 25. So if black pastors are increasingly supporting marriage e equality, that's because their congregations, especially that the youth uh, members of the congregations are increasingly in step with this. My experience when I came out in support for marriage equality here in the state of Maryland in early in February of this year, many of my colleagues thought that I had committed professional suicide. Uh, they thought that I was going to lose my church and all of our members would leave. Um, but actually just the opposite happened. This has been the best year in the history of our church in terms of growth. We've had a thousand people join our church uh, in the first nine months of this year. That's impressive. Uh, many, yeah. I mean, and can we just compare of, that? Because people do not understand how hard it is to get people to join a church. That's that's an increase. In very numbers. difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's a challenge. I mean, we average around six to seven hundred people a year since I've been at our church for the last eight years, and we've had a thousand join this year alone, uh, which really suggests to me that what I did was really to give voice to the views and opinions that the people already had.